try to show you guys several ways to animate your project. Now I just open up a basic project and I'm going to animate this square. Now the first thing I got to do is I got to show you what's called the, the camera. Okay, and this little device down here is your camera. And it's important that you know where your camera is and you check out what your view appears to be. And you can know, know this by clicking on the zero on the numeric keypad. And if you click on the zero on the numeric keypad, you get a picture of the cube. Okay, now this is a good place to start. The next thing you want to do is you want to split your screen. So you would go over here to the corner, and when your mouse becomes a split arrow, if you right click over there, you see split area. This creates a second screen for you to work with. If you click now, you will get the second screen. So I left clicked, and now I have two cubes, okay, giving me the same view. But now I want a timeline view. So if I go over here to this button over here, I can click on what's called timeline and now I see what's called the timeline okay and this is important because my animations are based on the number of frames if you look right here frame one is where it says start one and end is 250 so the first thing you need to do is you need to lower this to a manageable number if you will see right now on my screen you can see that I'm now at screen number 230 well you can actually just go in here and you can you can change that but because one of my hands is using the mouse as a microphone I've got to do it like this so you just want to bring this down to about about 200 or so it should be about 150 or something like that so that means your animation when it plays is only going to be about 150 frames long so it's the first thing you need to do okay now once you've got to that amount the first thing you do is you need to set up your camera angle now once again to do that if I click on the zero in the numeric keypad, I see my square. And I also see my camera, which is right here. Okay, this is my scene number one. Okay, and if I go back and hit the zero key, it actually shows me what it looks like. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to rotate the square. So I want to click down here where it says start. Make sure I'm in frame one. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to lock this as my scene number one. To do that, you click on I. And I, under I, you click on Lock Rotate Scale. And this locks this particular scene. And from this point forward, we're going to change this scene. So you hit Lock Rotate Scale once, and it disappears. Now I'm going to click on frame number 10. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on this button right here. It says Global. I'm in Object Mode. If I click on this round circle, it's called Rotate Manipulator Code. And I click on that. And now if I click on the letter N, I can now rotate my item. So now I'm going to go to scene 10, where it says right here I'm in scene 10, and I'm going to turn my square. I'm just going to click on two clicks, and then I'm going to hit I. I'm going to go lock, rotate, scale. Then I'm going to go to scene number 20. And on scene number 20, I'm now on scene 20, I'm going to move my square again. One, two, three. I'm going to hit I. Lock, rotate, scale. Okay, now I'm going to go to scene 30. I'm going to go, I'm going to now change this. One, two, three. Hit I. Lock, rotate, scale. Now I'm going to keep doing this all the way down, okay? Just do it again for scene 40. Make three more turns. And go I. Lock, rotate, scale. Go to scene 50. And I'm just going straight down my timeline. Let's go one more. Okay, now when we play the animation from scenes 1 to 80, the entire ball should, this cube, I mean, this cube should spin. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. So bear with me while I bring this down to about scene 100. And now I'm going to hit the play button and let's see what we get. Okay, now we should have an animation. Now if you watch, we'll see what we have. Okay, it's going to go to scene 100. 
and now it's going back and as you can see the ball is spinning it appears as if the cube is spinning and this is my first step now once I get to this point I want to actually animate this and I want to render it as an AVI movie so I hit the stop button and now I'm going to hit the on the keys at the top I'm going to hit F10 and that brings up a whole new list of menus okay and in the F10 the first thing I want to do is where it says JPEG down here I'm going to click on what says AVI codec and then on this button here, I'm going to drag down. I'm going to click on Microsoft Video 1 and hit OK. And then I want to put this where I can find it. So I'm going to right click on Output over here. And what I want to do is on Output, I want to go right here, right click on this right here, and it brings up my desktop. And I'm going to call this my cube. So I'm just going to type cube, C-U-B-E. Now the next step is to hit the Animate button. And this will actually make a movie of my square. And we'll see how this is. It's about 10, 15 minutes to do. Okay, so we hit the animate button. And it says, okay. And now we're going to make an animation. Okay, and that's all there is to it. And then in a minute, I'll show you how to actually save your square. It takes about 15 minutes. Okay, so hope you learned something.